Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today you will be seeing my Oxford University room tour. I currently live in Castle Mill. You don't need to be part of a specific college to be able to live here. So I thought it would be very interesting for a lot of you out there to see what a Castle Mill room actually looks like. Let's get into the video. This is the view right where you get in. So here I have my coats. There are actually two hooks on the wall that I just use for that. And I have my wonderful door. I put on those little command hooks and they hold my keys and my face mask so I don't want to forget it there. Then I have a doormat that I bought from Ikea for like a pound. I own a bicycle so if I have a flat tire or anything it's very very helpful to be able to just fill it up again. The shoes that I'm currently wearing I'm leaving next to the door so that I won't like make the floor all dirty. Now I'm back like facing my room again. Then I have my two wonderful little trash cans. This one I need to empty out. I have the shoe rack that I use, well, for my shoes and my purses that I just put on top. Very helpful. This is the doorbell, so if somebody rings the doorbell, I can just like pick it up and let somebody in. Then I have the rest of my room and here I have a door. And this is the door to my ensuite, to my bathroom. So I don't have my own kitchen, but I do have my own bathroom. It's actually pretty big, as you can see. So on the left, I have a towel rack, I have my towel, sink, cabinet underneath the sink, where I just like keep band-aids, dry shampoo, I don't know, cleaning supplies, that type of stuff. And on top of my sink, I have my toothbrush and some like random bits of makeup. Um, some detergent and a brush to like do actual like cleaning my glasses because I do not keep my glasses I do not keep those in the kitchen because I have a tiny 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 cabinet So it's nice that I can just like wash them up here instead of walking all the way to the kitchen So I'm furthest away from the kitchen And then I have my laundry basket. I absolutely I, I need to do my laundry Anyways, I love this laundry basket as it like sorts color lights and dark So then I have well some like other bits for the shower my wonderful little toilet, some cleaning supplies that did not fit in there because of the height. And my shower, which is surprisingly roomy. I really like to shower, although the water pressure is not wonderful, but it works. So that's my little bathroom. I have my desk. Let's walk around a little bit. Underneath my desk, I have three drawers. I just keep like random office bits in here. This one's still empty and in the bottom one I have like plastic bags if I go grocery shopping. Uh, so on top of my desk I have my laptop obviously. Uh, I have this thing where I can keep like paperwork and stuff organized. Not that it is organized but I can keep paperwork in there. I have my to-do list, my diary, my camera bag, my pen holder, my headphones, charger, that type of stuff. Week planner. I do have a week planner and a diary, so I have to like note it down twice to only use this for like the specific week that I'm in, while the diary I can like use to like put things in that I are that I am going to be doing like a month. So I find this very helpful to have like an overview of when I need to be where and what I need to be doing. Then I have a wonderful little bookcase. I do have a very random badminton racket also <laughs> laying on top of here. I have no place to put it yet. I don't know, it's just sitting there for now. Anyways, I have a picture frame. I have all of my books that I brought. Currently for my course, I've read these ones. These were on my reading list or my pre terminal reading list. Dear God, I finished all of those. I just still need to write essays on them. I have some fake plants, they're from Ikea. I like them, I think they're cute. I have Cards Against Humanity hiding in the back. It's a wonderful book stand, however. If I take it out, my books like go like this. Anyways, for now, I also cannot get any more books because it like perfectly fits in there in this little slot. And then I have some dictionaries. Like I said, I keep my glasses in my room, so I have some glasses sitting up here. And then I have like my snack drawer, which is a mess. But I have snacks. <laughs> uh, some kitchen odds and ends that didn't fit in my kitchen cabinets that are just like randomly sitting here like small knife, measuring spoons, some extra tea that I stole from a hotel, wonderful. And then I have some gin, some tonic, to make gin and tonic. I have some squash and um, 
some more laundry bits. And up next here, I have my little wine rack. It's actually like a really nice spot. I created for myself like a reading nook with wine. I feel very accomplished. Uh, I have a spin board. I do not have anything up here. Somebody did leave me a nice sun in the corner. I do appreciate that. Anyway, so I have a seat sitting here and next to here is my fake plant from Ikea. But this is my view. So my building does not look like this. I'm in the first building that's a modern building. Not that those aren't modern, but mine is more modern, I guess. So mine is, well, this like sand color. Anyways, the train tracks are right here. I do hear the trains passing by, but if you close the windows, you do not really hear any of them. At night, I'm not bothered by it whatsoever. So I really don't mind having the train tracks over here, actually, I, I'm okay with it. And then I have my bed. So the room came with a single bed. But I'm extra and I wanted to double bed. So I bought an extra mattress and just start like level it out with the other mattress. Anyway, so currently I have a king size bed, which leaves me still enough floor space, so it's good. So up here I have some lights and we are allowed to attach things to the railings. So I attach them to the railings with command hooks. So this is my bed from the other side. This is my figure skating bag. I wanted to put it underneath. Oh, there's my secret stash of beer. Well, it's not so secret anymore now. Anyways, so this is my figure skating bag. I wanted to put it underneath the bed, but there's still some stuff from me moving in underneath there, like boxes and hangers that I wasn't sure if I needed more of. So I need to like reorganize that a little bit and then I can just like slide this in and just take it out if I want to go to the ice rink. It's really nice. Then I have my nightstand and my teapot. I drink tea in the morning, so I just pop it on there, have my tea and move on with my day. So in my top drawer, I have just like socks and what else? I generally just have socks, some ballet items, vitamins, that type of stuff, hairbrush. This one has underwear in it and swimwear and hats. This one is my messy drawer. Um, there are some like mittens and winter hats and that type of stuff in there. Some random tools up here <laughs> and some paper towels and trash bags. Not quite sure about this drawer, but anyways, everything I didn't really have a place for just kind of ended up in here, I guess. And then we have, oh, I didn't finish my tea. Oh well. Now we have a mystery door. I do not know where the door goes. I did look at like a fire escape plan and it seems like it's going into somebody else's closet. So this is my wardrobe, it's right next to the mystery door. Uh, I have a ribbon sitting up here because I have to wear this one on Saturday and it's one of those like velvet ribbons and I cannot iron it. So I just wanted to like de-wrinkle a little bit. So it's just like currently sitting there. Anyway, so this is my wardrobe. Other castle mill rooms have built-in wardrobes. I do not have a built-in wardrobe. I'm the only one in my flat who doesn't have a built-in wardrobe. The girl above me, same story. She has the same layout room. She also does not have a built-in wardrobe because we have the mystery door. We do have a bigger bathroom for some reason. And I have a shelf, I have my crew neck sweatshirts, nicer sweaters, <laughs> Christmas jumpers. Um, t-shirts, sports t-shirts, bits and bobs. I have and my extra towel is in here. My extra bed sheets are up there. It's my mortar board. Um, one of those heat baths. You pop in the microwave. Behind here are more bed sheets and more towels. Anyways, um, so I have my hanging clothes. I just keep my skirts, button downs, blazers, cardigans, I don't know, dresses. So I have my gown. Then underneath here, I have my carry-on, some video stuff. And every single student owns one of these. They're from Ikea, they're called Scub. I don't think I have Scub, I think I have Stuck. I don't know, I have one of those. And I just keep polo shirts, PJs, long sleeves, jeans, sportswear, figure skating stuff. That's basically everything I just keep in my wardrobe. So this is my room. Let's walk to the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. So we have a sink. There is some washing up going on over there. And everybody has like their own cabinet. Everybody has two. 
um, this is mine. And I thought, oh, it's nice because I have a mass cabinet, right? Well, no, <laughs> it's tiny. I have the smallest cabinet out of everybody. This is also mine. It's up here. I have some plates and some utensils, some more mud, cutlery. So we have a hob, view of the train tracks. And there's basically more cabinets of all the people that live here. I share a kitchen with five other people. So there are six of us. We only have four chairs, which is really, really weird. And these are the bins. Blue is recycling. I still cannot get over it. Blue is recycling. How is it not green? So we have an ironing board, a freezer, and a fridge thing. Whoa, so this is the fridge. This is my one. I have a bunch of pizzas and ready meals in there. And in the fridge, this is my shelf. Everybody has their own shelf. They're all numbered. numbered. So I'm 145, that's my shelf. I love how everybody else just has like proper food and I just have beer and cheese. And here we have some cleaning supplies. So we have a vacuum, a broom and a iron. So yeah, that's the kitchen. I hope you all enjoyed my room tour, so please like, comment and subscribe for more Oxford content.